Let me tell you about me and dreams. In the dream world, I wasn't your average bear. I've always been a lucid dreamer. Not always, since I was six or seven. Lucid dreaming means you know you're dreaming. But it's much more than that. Because there are different levels of lucidity. All of my dreams start out at the first level. The level in which you know you're dreaming, but it's kind of in the back of your mind and you're not really enlightened by it yet. But it, as you can go up the ranks, there is a top level of lucidity. At this top level, you can achieve a complete, pure, perfect clarity that just comes. It's like you can sense every crevice of the world across the vast open expanse as far, much farther than the eye could ever see. Lucid dreaming, I feel, has been an integral part in my growth. When I was six or seven, I lived in Port St. Lucie, Florida, and my parents told me I had night terrors. I didn't know what that phrase meant, but I knew what I had. They were serialized, horrible dreams that I had over and over again every night. Each chapter in the book would repeat itself numerous times before the next one was written, but the storyline ended when I put my foot down. I told them that I was running the show. Maybe I hadn't been running the show before, but I eventually garnered enough knowledge and skill set in the dream world to be able to control what was so rightfully mine. If there was ever such a thing as a revolution or overthrowing a power, this was one of them. I defeated my enemies, conquered the dream world, and never looked back to a life of enslavement. Some people say ignorance is bliss. It was then I learned what ignorance was. Ignorance has you cowering in the corner in the dark from an imaginary fear. Freedom is strength. Ignorance is slavery. Slavery to whom? Slavery to yourselves.